Now I'm transferring to the University of Regina. The main reason I'm transferring is because. Hello and welcome to my channel. I was on a walk right now. I was looking for a microphone where microphones are sold because I want to be taking more videos outside. But um, sometimes this background noise, like the cars and everything, it gets in the mix with the audio so i don't want that to happen but i wasn't able to find a good mic so i might have to either order online or go further down across the city to the place where there are more stores and i'll be able to check there too and the surroundings are really nice today it's green very soon everywhere will be white and not the best but it's not always green do you Rita, it's not green yeah except winter time. yeah except winter time so while we are here i'll just be talking about um my school i said i was going to talk about that in a video hopefully my voice is very audible you can hear me if not i'll try to edit it a little bit so about school i don't think that's the right way to face right you now about school i was um Admitted into Brando University, right? Let me sit down for a bit. Did you want to sit down? Uh, no. Why? We have the entrance practices. And down there, there's like water. Yeah, so I was admitted into. Let me be sure this is even like. Say hi, Jide. Hi. <laughs> you look very nice. The sun is glowing today. So I was. Hi. Hmm? So I was admitted into Brandon University, right? And uh, now I'm transferring to the University of Regina. The main reason I'm transferring is because my family is here, everybody is here. So it's better to stay here. And also, if I transfer here, I won't have to pay the rent. I won't have to really focus too much on feeding and all that, all those things. So that's taken care of if I'm here. Not really because of the school or if this school is better than the other. I don't, I don't know. I can't say much about University of Regina because I haven't started classes. I've only registered, transferred my credits and all that. So I can't say much. But yeah, that's the main reason I'm transferring uh, from Brandon University to the University of Regina. I want to talk more about the transfer credits because people may not understand. Or some people think that once you enter a school, you don't, you can't really transfer to another school or the process will be so difficult i'll say if you're transferring for the first time it's not going to be that easy if you're not like aware of the procedures and everything for me it was very complicated that's what i'll call the process so this is what happened earlier this year the for um the deadline for application to get admission into the nursing program was the was it was i think it was the the 15th of february either 31st of january or 31st of january or 15th of february i applied before the 31st of january because i wasn't too sure of the um admission or the application deadline you have to be sure of that so that you can apply and i applied as a transfer student i actually applied as an after degree as in someone would say as um there was this after degree section that's what i applied as just for me to find out uh, let me be sure this is also me to find out later on that after degrees if you have already done a degree or you already have a certificate i thought it was people transferring but thank god that didn't affect me much i'm going to talk about that later on in this video so that you really understand what that means so yeah and then i got admission but they told me i wasn't able to get into the after degree program so i thought that means i won't be able to transfer my credits and then they said i should wait maybe till june of this year this is this is what well, this is august right now so it told me to wait till june of this year and see what happens because i hadn't huh? yeah june of 2023 is it on hmm? is it on um, it's not it's on hmm? see let me show you if it's like this if the red dot is very small then that means it's on oh. yeah so um they said I should, they'll get back to me in June 2023 because I hadn't finished all my courses when I applied. I told you I applied before the end of January and I still had three courses I was doing so I wouldn't be able to get 
um, those credits or the final did they obstruct the light the final evaluation for those credits until after like after april when winter session is or when the winter semester is over so that's what i thought and i was going on with the school uh, meeting advisors meeting everybody even people that were already in the university of regina to explain to me all this because i was not understanding one thing i was just like <sighs> Maybe I should just stay in Brandon University. I forget about this transparency because oh, just confusing. But then people were saying there there have been some people that have transferred from Nigeria, transferred from different countries, uh, Ghana to um, Canada. Now I'm not talking about all those like US. US is just beside, so that one is not a big deal. But if um, people from different continents can transfer to Canada, transfer their credits, then if I was in a university that was just, why are you obstructing the view? Why are you obstructing the light? I'm not. I think you are. Yeah. So if I was um, in a university that's also in Canada, then I should be able to transfer easily. So that's what kept me going. I said, okay, let me try and find out. I'll still be keeping in contact. Make sure if you're applying for your what they call that thing if you're applying for your study permit if you're applying for your pr if you're applying for your work permit anything you're applying for in canada make sure you're up to date and you're always checking constantly because you don't want to miss any news any information so i checked to that and then they told me that oh it was when i actually had to go to the school because emails were not doing it for me you know sometimes in-person conversations are far better than um, online because you're able to see um emotions and it's the back-to-back -back is easier is faster than emails where you wait till the person answers and then you wait blah, blah, blah. you forgot what you wanted to ask i went to the school to the nursing faculty of nursing in the school and asked them about the after degree and then they're like oh after degree is for those that already have another degree maybe they have the two-year nursing that's like lpn or they have a healthcare aid certificate all those other degrees and they want to transfer that and continue on from nursing but i didn't have that i just had my transfer credits i was still in the main nurse and i don't have any degrees so i'm like oh that's what they, that's what they mean by um i i can't get into the program but i can get into the main nursing so um i'll just be able to transfer all my credits i'll just be able to transfer all my credits and <laughs> what i did and continue from where i stopped but I was thinking I'll go back to the first year. But they just said that since I hadn't done... In Brandon University, there's pre-nursing and then there's the main nursing. Pre-nursing, everything in Brandon, the whole nursing program is four years. But pre-nursing is the first year and the next three years are the main nursing program. While here in the University of Regina, everything is just... Immediately you get admission, you're straight in the nursing program. You start your clinicals, you start your practicals, you start everything straight up. So that's how it is. So now I'll have to do those clinicals that I didn't do in first year. And if there are any other courses that I can do from other years, from how it is um, from... Ban from um Brenda University. I've done some courses that I should have done in year two um here in University of Regina in year one. So it's like I've done some courses from third year, I've done some courses from second year, I've done some courses from first year. I just have to carry on and make sure I complete my 120 credit hours. That's uh, all the credits you need to get your degree. That's how it is right now. I have four courses that the school hasn't awarded me credits for. I actually got an email not so long ago, like a few hours ago um, today, that they have submitted, I think, three of my evaluations to the transfer credit office. Just one more is left. And they will tell me um, the final, uh, the final thing. What was that word I want to use? They will keep me up to date with what's finally going to happen with my transfers if I get those four credits. So now I'm sitting on 21 credit hours, but I think I've done up to 30 credit hours, like something like that. So I need those extra credits, right? Yeah, some, something thereabout. That's what's happening right now, but I've, I'm already registered for courses in the University of Regina. So if you want to know if you can transfer, as an international student, you can actually transfer. But the only thing is that you have to uh, tell IRCC that you are, you have been, or you've gotten your admi an admission into another university, then you'd 
change your school location and um, on IRTC tell them which university you changed to or which university you're in right now just keep them up to date with that you can transfer as an international student there are a lot of people that have transferred um, just as long as it aligns with um, what you agreed upon when you were coming into Canada and also if you are here in Canada maybe as not an international student as you have another different status you can also transfer to different schools like honestly in Canada the nursing in this school is different from the nursing in this other school the nursing in this province is different from the nursing in the other province I don't know how if that's how it is for other courses other programs but the nursing is just something else because it's a very peculiar program you know it's um it's not an anyhow program when you get a nursing degree it's a valuable degree here so they want to keep it up to standard and every province has their own different requirements regulations pass marks all those things so yeah what's like maybe my nutrition and health promotion in Brandon university is a totally different name in university of um regina and also some credits if you don't if they don't have that course in their curriculum then even though maybe you got the highest grade they will even award you that grade that's just that's just abominable <laughs> yeah so uh, my plan is just to that's what that's been my plan since i'll keep i'll make sure i get past the grade so that i can go on to the next but i'm not going to burn myself out or stress myself so much like oh i'm not getting this certain grade i'll keep myself like that because now nah, that's not just for me i'm doing so many other things i actually got two jobs right now i am going tomorrow tomorrow is the what tomorrow is the eighth i think no okay today is eight tomorrow is the ninth so i'll be going full-time just for a few days i'm working with special needs that's all i can say and i also got another job was more like an ngo type thing for an ngo type thing for afro-caribbean canadian children who are trying to settle and get themselves into the environment trying to learn maybe um perfect their knowledge on everything canada all that kind of you know all, the, all those kind of things i'm so excited about that those are the kind of jobs i wanted to have and i'm so excited finally i don't have to be standing for five seven hours every day which is amazing so that's what's been happening i want to be doing more of this outside um outside type of content outside type of thing because like what what i'm sure all of you are tired of, tired of see, seeing my i see where i stay it's just dark and, and gloomy but here we are in our doors outdoors outdoors very beautiful very beautiful I, should, I'm, I was thinking of doing something like uh a walk with me but i have to do that when i have a microphone because honestly i'm not sure the audio of this video will be the best but yeah i think i'll do more of this this is actually what i've been wanting to do for so long but now that i'm getting my next paycheck this youtube pays out money i think every 20 26th of the month that's what i believe so when i get that i'm using that to um purchase a microphone because i want to use the money i get from youtube to invest back into the youtube channel i'll do that i was thinking of getting a ring light but not my top priority out of now see the sun Oh, see the sun free light <laughs> but microphone it's a top necessity then after that yeah i think maybe as i go on i'll look for uh, if there are more things i need to get then i would get that so thank you very much for watching this video i hope it helped i hope it um gave you new knowledge on things and I need to go to the house now because oh, I'm still not that is so wet. You, 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 you. Yeah. I hope this helped you. If you got anything, you can comment down. And if you reached to the end of this video, just comment the sun emoji because the sun is shining today. Shining, shining, shining. Yeah, comment the sun emoji and I'll talk to you in my next video bye bye wait did i say like and subscribe like and subscribe